Hello everybody, welcome to Mad Over MATLAB Tutorials. This is Tanmay and in this tutorial I am going to show you how to simulate a 3 phase 6 pulse diode rectifier. So before going to the model, I will just give some brief information about 3 phase 6 pulse diode rectifier. The rectifier converts 3 phase input into a DC output. It consists of a 3 phase AC source or 3 single phase AC sources connected to a diode bridge as shown in this figure. If Vm is the peak phase input voltage, the output DC voltage is given by Vdo is equal to 1.65 into Vm. So let us start building the model now. The first component that we need is an AC source, AC voltage source. We need this one, so just select this and drag it to your screen. The next thing that we need is a diode. Select this one and drag it to your screen. The third component is a current measurement device. The next component is a voltage measurement device. After that we need a scope. Followed by a power GUI. Then we will need an RLC branch. You can choose either one of these, but I will go for this one. And finally, you will need a bus selector. So now I will separate all these components and start building the model. So first I will build the three phase AC input. I will double click on this. The peak amplitude that I am having is 100 volt. I am fine with that. I will change the frequency to 50 hertz and click OK. Since I need three phases, I will just copy this and paste it. One more time. Okay. So this is the second phase. I will change the phase of this phase to 120 degrees. And the phase of this phase to 240 degrees. Now I will rotate all the three of them. And connect them. I will rename all of them. I will rename the first phase to phase A. Second phase to phase B. And the third phase to phase C. So now we will build the diode bridge. First rotate this counterclockwise so that 
the end part of the diode the end junction lies upwards faces upwards we will need six such diodes so I'll just copy paste them Now I will connect the end junctions of the upper diodes together and the P junctions of the lower diodes together and then connect the upper half and the lower half. So we have created a bridge for the diode rectifier. Now we will connect the input three phase supply to this bridge but before that I will connect a current measurement device between each of the three phases this is this is required to measure the phase current I'll first rename this. Okay, so we have, we have connected the input supply to the diode bridge. Now I will connect the load. I will double click on this load and change the branch type to R and keep the resistance as it is to 1 ohms. Now I will connect this load to the output of the diode bridge. So now I will connect the voltage measurement device to the output of the diode bridge. This is used to view the waveforms of output voltage on the scope. I will need one more current measurement device to measure the current, the output current. So I'll just copy this and paste it here in series with the output. So now I will use the bus selector. I will connect the measurement port of diode to the input of the bus selector and as you can see here it already has the diode current and diode voltages but I will just show you how to bring them first I will remove these signals and I will select these two like this And in this way you can get all the signals that you need to measure on this side by selecting the selecting them in this way. 
now I will connect the scopes we will go into this and uh, change the number of axes to 2 untick this and save the data to workspace rename this as load voltage and change the setting to structure with time and now I will connect this here I will copy this and paste it here I will change the number of axes to 3 I will press space bar to fit this model in the screen window like this. Now I will connect the phase currents to the scope. So I have completed building this model. So now the model is ready to run. I have set the simulation time to 0.04 seconds which corresponds to 2 cycles of 50 Hz. And now I will run this model by clicking this icon. So the simulation has completed now. So let us view the waveforms. Let us first start with the phase current waveforms. So as you can see here, this is the waveform for phase A, this is for phase B and this is for phase C. And these waveforms are shifted by 120 degrees from each other. Now let us move on to the diode voltages and currents. So this is the diode current and this is the diode voltage waveform. So whenever there is some finite current flowing through the diode, the diode voltage is zero since it is short circuited. And when there is no current flowing through the diode, the diode is open circuited and there is some reverse voltage across the diode. That is why this waveform comes to be negative in this region. So now let us go on to the load voltage and current waveform. So since we have used a resistive load, the load current and load voltages are in phase with each other. And since the value of resistance is 1 ohms, the peak of load current and load voltages are the same. And now let us find the DC value of the output voltage. For this you need to double click on this one, this icon power GUI. Go to tools, FFT analysis. In this you have to select the load voltage signal, load, load underscore voltage signal. So this is the signal, this is the signal, this is the waveform for the output voltage that we observed just now. Change this to FFT window. Change the, uh, change the fundamental frequency to 50 Hz.
and change this to list relative to fundamental and press display so now as you can see here the DC component value is 163.3 and if you see this equation it, satis it almost satisfies this equation since our phase peak voltage was 100 volts so 100 into 1.65 is equal to 165 volts which is very close to 163.5 so that's it for this tutorial please subscribe for our channel mad over matlab to get more such videos and if you need the model file of this simulation please leave your email id in the comment section or you can mail us at madovermatlab at gmail.com so thank you for watching this video goodbye and take care